Okay, welcome back. Uh, today, I am going to give you a complete guide to basic schedules of reinforcement. So that's FR, FI, VR, VI, the basic schedules you'll be using as an RBT. This is what you need to know for both the RBT exam and your RBT competency, okay? So if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Um, how it's going to go is I'm going to give some examples. I'm going to give the definitions. I'm going to explain it to you, and then we're going to go over some questions, okay? At the end of this video, you should know exactly what reinforcement schedules are, how to use them, um, and some examples. If you need any study materials uh, for your exam, uh, I'm going to put these links below in the comments in the descriptions. You can also visit the website. Okay, everything's available there. Um, any questions you have, let me know. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. Email me, leave a comment, whatever works for you. Um, other than that, let's get into it. So start here. What are the four basic schedules of reinforcement? So when we talk about basic schedules, okay, we're talking about very simple ways of delivering reinforcement, okay, to your clients. And these basic schedules are going to guide your treatment plans as an RBT, okay? So all we mean when we say schedules, right, it's just telling you when reinforcement should be delivered, okay? It's an easy way for you to go throughout your session, okay, to help you know exactly when to reinforce the behavior, okay, depending on responses or time, okay? So you have FR, FI, VR, VI. Um, the F, okay, it stands for fixed. The V stands for variable, okay? And we're going to get into more detail, okay, in a little bit. This is just the overview chart, okay, the four we're looking at. The R is a ratio or response. The I interval or time okay so understand this chart right and you'll never mix these up okay um, once we go over each individual one this chart should be your guide right um, it's a very easy way to remember all four so uh, let's do a couple questions which of the following basic schedules of reinforcement produces the slot machine effect is it fr fi vr or vi they love this question on the exam, okay? They love this question in ABA because it's a fundamental way to understand, okay, one of our reinforcement schedules. So think about a slot machine. What are you doing? You're pulling the lever, okay? And every now and then you might win a little money. Does the amount of responses it takes to win money change? Yes, right? So we know it's not fixed. What is it? It's got to be variable, okay? And does it matter how long you play the machine, or is it just dependent on your responses? Well, it's dependent on responses, right? You can play the machine for hours, okay, but it only depends on what response, okay, produces money, right? So in ABA, the slot machine effect, right, is VR, okay? Something you just need to know. It's it's a fundamental way to remember the variable. Um, ratio schedule, okay, which means um, an average number of responses produces reinforcement. What does variable mean in relation to reinforcement schedules? So when we talk about variable, what are we talking about, okay? Um, are we talking about the variance in behavior? Are we talking about an average? Are we talking about the target behavior? Or are we talking about how many reinforcers you provide? So when we talk about variable, Okay, in reinforcement schedules, we're talking about an average. Okay, so when we say variable ratio, we're talking about a number of responses on average. When we talk about a variable interval, we're talking about an amount of time on average. So when you see the word variable in relation to reinforcement schedules, we're talking about averages. So let's dive in, okay, um, to each schedule. Okay, so. First one, fixed ratio, okay? It's the most basic type of uh, our schedules, okay? The most basic of the basic reinforcement schedules, okay? It's fixed, so that means it doesn't change. It's based on the number of responses, okay? And you're reinforcing after a set number of responses, okay? So you're reinforcing after a fixed number of responses, okay? Look at our examples, FR1, Continuous reinforcement, okay? The best way to teach new skills. FR1 means you reinforce after every target response. So if our target is saying blue, okay, our sequence would be 
blue, reinforce, blue, reinforce, blue, reinforce. And it goes along like that forever, okay? The schedule is fixed, meaning it, it, meaning it doesn't change. And we're going on responses. So after every single response for an FR1, that's what that one means, okay? You're reinforcing. What about an FR5? Well, it's the same idea, right? The amount of responses doesn't change, okay? That you're reinforcing. The only thing that changes, okay, is that number, okay? So now we're doing an FR5, right? So after every fifth target response, okay, we'll reinforce. So client says blue, the sequence would be blue, 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 reinforce, okay? So now it's taking five correct responses to receive reinforcement. But that number doesn't change because it's fixed, okay? This is the simplest one, right? Um, it's best for teaching new skills, okay? So fixed ratio schedule. What about a fixed integral schedule? Again, fixed, okay? Doesn't change. So whenever, whatever the schedule is set at, right, that's the number, and it's not going to change. Interval means amount of time. So we're looking at a set number of time, okay? And we're reinforcing the first response after a set amount of time, okay? So after a certain amount of time passes, whenever our target response happens, the first time it happens after that amount of time, we reinforce, okay? So FI2, fixed interval two. You're reinforcing the first target response after two minutes. So two minutes goes by, and the first time the target response happens, you reinforce. So for example, our target is identifying shapes. So our sequence, you would start the timer, you start working, okay? You're identifying shapes, you're going through it, right? Two minutes pass. After two minutes, the next time they correctly identify a shape, you reinforce, okay? So this type of schedule produces some pause, right? Because after they receive reinforcement, they need to go at least two more minutes without more reinforcement, right? Okay. With the fixed interval, that number is not changing. So every two minutes in this situation, the first response produces reinforcement. FI6, reinforce first target response after six minutes. Okay. Same idea. Client is completing math problems. Timer starts. You start working. After six minutes pass, reinforce the first completed math problem. Okay. So fixed doesn't change. Interval amount of time. Fixed interval. Reinforce the first response after a set amount of time. Variable ratio. Well, what is variable? Changing or an average. Ratio. Number of responses. So you're reinforcing after an average number of responses. Okay. Once you understand the words, right, it's very easy. It just rolls off the tongue, right? Variable, average, ratio, responses. Reinforce after an average number of responses. Very straightforward, okay? Let's look at an example. VR3, you're reinforcing after an average of three target responses, okay? So in a perfect world, okay, if you did, if you delivered a reinforcement 10 times and you took the average number of responses, it would come out to three. Now, we don't exist in a perfect world, okay? We don't deliver ABA in a perfect world, right? So, you know, if you miss that average, right, by a little bit, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Remember, these are guidelines. These are schedules, okay? So the idea, okay, is every third response on average, you receive reinforcement. So let's look at an example. That doesn't make sense, okay? Client says blue. So our sequence. First time, the client says blue, 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 blue. So four blues, reinforcement. Second time, client says blue, blue, blue. Reinforcement, three times, right? The third in interval, right? The client said blue, blue, so two times received reinforcement, okay? So, so on average, okay, the client, right? The first time was four, received reinforcement. Second time was three, third time was two, okay? If you took the average of that, right, which is how many responses? Eight. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine responses, okay? Produce reinforcement three times. 
what would our average be? Our average would be three, okay? So on average, every third response produced reinforcement. And that's the idea. Sounds more complicated than it is, okay? Simply put, when you see VR3, okay, deliver reinforcement, okay, every third response or so. So sometimes two, sometimes four, sometimes three, sometimes three, sometimes two. That's why it's a slot machine effect. You don't want the client to know when the reinforcement's coming, okay? Rare variable ratios produce the highest uh, rate of responding, okay? Because we're not sure when reinforcement's coming. It's the strongest schedule, basic schedule there is, okay? The slot machine effect, okay? So remember, if you had a VR6, right? You would deliver reinforcement after six, after four, after seven, after five, after six, after six, after five, right? You get the idea, okay? Don't make it harder than it is, right? Understand the fundamentals, okay? And then in practice, once you start doing it, okay, it's really going to click. For the test and the exam and your competency, you need to understand, right, um, what each means, right, on a more technical level, okay? And then finally, variable interval schedule. Variable, changing on average, interval, amount of time. So reinforce the first correct response after an average amount of time. Okay, it just flows very easily. VI2, variable interval two. You're going to reinforce the first correct response after an average of two minutes. Okay, so very similar, right, to FR2 or FI2, right, where you're reinforcing after two minutes, but now it's on average. So what does that mean? Okay, so our target is client sitting in the chair sequence. Client sits for three minutes, reinforce. Client sits for two minutes. Reinforce. Client says for three minutes. Reinforce. Okay. So simply put, VI2, right? Reinforce after two minutes. Reinforce after two and a half minutes. Reinforce after a minute and a half. Reinforce after three, right? You're looking for kind of an average of two minutes to reinforce. Again, produces a steady rate of responding, okay? Because um, we don't know when the, the, the reinforcement's coming. Now, given that it's an interval, okay? It doesn't produce as high of a rate as a ratio schedule, okay? Because there's time in between and it's not reliant on the number of responses, okay? But still, given that it's an average, the client can't predict, okay, when reinforcement's coming, okay? And that's that's kind of the point, right? So when you're when you're fading schedules, okay, VFR uh, fixed ratio. Okay, is a good place to start because it strengthens behavior. You deliver a lot of reinforcement. And once that behavior is learned and it's kind of and it's taught, right? And we want to fade out, then we go into more variable schedules. Okay. And that's kind of the sequence. So let's do a few questions to finish up. All right. What kind of reinforcement schedule represents standing in line at Disney World waiting for a ride? So when you're when you're faced with basic reinforcement schedule questions. Okay. Think about what is what is the response. Okay. Remember, all all these, even though they're different, they're all reinforcing a response. So what behavior or response are we looking at? Okay. And then when are you going to get reinforcement? So if you're standing in line at Disney World, what's the reinforcement? Reinforcement is getting on a ride. Okay. What is our behavior? Standing in line. Okay. Now. You can only stand in line once, right? So the behavior is occurring, okay? But it doesn't matter how many, you can't get out and get in line to speed up the process, right? If anything, it'll slow it down, okay? So what's the only thing that we're waiting on, okay, in terms of getting reinforcement for a ride? Time, okay? We're waiting on time. Now, if there's five people in line, it might take 10 minutes. If there's 30 people in line, it may, might take an hour. So the amount of time on average it takes for us to get on a ride is changing. See, hopefully that starts to click, okay? And why, hopefully it's starting to make sense now. So what kind of reinforcement schedule are we on? Variable interval, okay? Because we're reliant on an average amount of time to receive our reinforcement, okay? Really understand that. If you understand that, okay, you're going to really start to internalize these different schedules. 
Okay, what reinforcement schedule is best used to teach a new skill? Easy question, okay. Best reinforcement schedule to teach a new skill is FR, okay. Precisely, you would want to use continuous, so FR1, okay. But the best schedule to use is FR. Okay, you applied to the college of your choice three months ago. You were supposed to receive information sometime this week. You start checking your email until you receive something. What reinforcement schedule are you on? Okay, so what is our reinforcement? Receiving that email. Okay. What is our behavior? Checking the email. Okay. So it's dependent on our response, right? So after a certain number of responses, we're going to receive reinforcement, right? We're not sure how many. It might take 100 times of me checking my email. It might take 20 times of me checking my email. But eventually, one of those responses is going to produce reinforcement. What does that sound like? Okay. So picture yourself sitting in a chair, putting money in a machine, and pulling a lever. Okay. And eventually, one of those responses should, re should produce reinforcement. Slot machine effect. Slot machine effect is what? VR. Okay. Start applying these schedules to real life scenarios and they become a lot easier to understand. So that's basic schedules of reinforcement. You need to know them for your exam. You need to know them for your competency. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if you need our study materials, they're going to be available below. Also at our website. Um, please like and subscribe if you do like my videos. Um, I've got more coming next week. And as always, keep studying hard. Okay. It's going to pay off. Um, in the long run.